Rheumatoid arthritis is one of the most common autoimmune diseases that affects 1.3 million people just in the United States. When I diagnose a patient with rheumatoid arthritis, I spend a lot of time to explain his diagnosis, the disease prognosis, and the need to start treatment early. I tell patients that rheumatoid arthritis is not only a disease of the joints, it is a systemic disease that can affect multiple organs. In this video, I will explain five important reasons for you to start treatment soon after the diagnosis. Rheumatologistoncall.com Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Garnita, a board-certified rheumatologist and the founder of Rheumatologist on Call. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel where I educate people about rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. I share all my knowledge with you. So don't forget to subscribe, press the notification button, and never miss one of my videos. Pain and disability. Pain is the most critical symptom that will bring patients into my office. If you suffer from rheumatoid arthritis, you know that pain, swelling, and stiffness were the symptoms that you experienced at the beginning of the disease. Depending on the intensity of the pain, patients decide to treat or postpone treatment. However, pain is a signal there is something wrong with your body. Pain is a sign of inflammation. Even if your pain is low, let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, it's about 2 out of 10. This is still a sign of ongoing inflammation. Ongoing inflammation will slowly destroy your joints and lead to deformities, inability to use your joints properly, and eventually chronic pain. For example, patients with persistent inflammation in their joints, in the hands, will develop deformities. Then they will experience difficulties to eat or to dress or even to play an instrument. Heart disease. Yes, heart disease is a frequent complication in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. When you are diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis as a young adult, you may not think that inflammation in your hands can affect your heart, but in reality, it will. Ongoing inflammation is now recognized as the cause of premature atherosclerosis, heart attacks, fluid around your heart, and even heart failure. When you are diagnosed with RA in your 30s, Think about what will happen to you in your 40s. Please be aware that heart disease and the risk to develop heart disease is higher if you suffer from rheumatoid arthritis and if the disease is not treated early and appropriately. Lung disease. Yes, patients with severe rheumatoid arthritis will develop lung disease, will develop fibrosis, or will develop fluid around the lungs. Some patients can present with shortness of breath before the onset of joint pain. It is essential to have a full evaluation before starting treatment and to see if you have rheumatoid arthritis related lung problems. Patients with lung involvement. They do require very close monitoring and starting early the treatment. Osteopenia and osteoporosis. Osteopenia is thinning of the bones. Osteoporosis is a more advanced disease compared to osteopenia that will put you at high risk to fracturing your bones from your vertebrae to your hips and other bones. Osteopenia is very frequently seen in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Because of pain, patients have to spend less time moving and more time in bed, which will lead to increased bone loss. 
In addition, inflammation can cause bone resorption and will decrease the new bone formation. Patients that are using long-term therapy with corticosteroids, like prednisone, are also at high risk to develop osteoporosis. In general, patients with rheumatoid arthritis have an increased risk to develop osteoporosis. The risk is increased with about 60 to 100% compared to others that do not have rheumatoid arthritis. I always tell my patients that steroids are great medication when used appropriately and with caution. But steroids are like a Band-Aid. They do not treat rheumatoid arthritis. They just cover the symptoms. They are not the long-term solution for rheumatoid arthritis. Eye disease. Many patients will describe itching, dryness, redness in the eyes. As I mentioned, rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic disease which creates systemic inflammation and that could lead to scleritis, episcleritis and in more severe cases, sclerosmalacia. Sclerosmalacia perforans is a very severe complication of rheumatoid arthritis and that's why you need early treatment for RA to avoid these complications. I hope this video will help you have an informed discussion with your rheumatologist and you will make the best decision for your life. If you want to learn more about rheumatoid arthritis or other autoimmune diseases, watch my YouTube channel as I will continue to share my knowledge with you. Remember these videos are just for educational purpose and they are not supposed to give you a diagnosis or to provide you with a medical evaluation. If you like the content of my videos, please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and press the notification button. You can leave your comments and your questions in the comment section, as I would be happy to answer them. Thank you, and I wish you a wonderful day. Rheumatologist on call .com.